I've got a best kept secret for you, the pneumatic cylinder sensors. And I'm gonna talk about mounting on pneumatic cylinder sensors. Uh, you know, there are a couple of different ways to mount. In a C slot or T slot like this, uh, some sensors have to slide in from the end like this. And so that can be a little bit challenging when you are, uh, you have long cylinders, you have a lot of automation close together and maybe a mounting plate or something here. That can be a little challenging to, to get the slide in sensor or to replace the slide in sensor. Uh, more modern sensors are actually a drop in variety. So we figure out where we need to be. We drop it in like that. We find the switch point, and then with a simple quarter turn, uh, a modern uh, pneumatic cylinder sensor is in there and is secure and reliable and repeatable as a switching position. So you can see now I have a reliable extended position on the cylinder. Uh, other styles of, of mounting can be on like a round body or a tie rod style. Uh, there are brackets that allow you to mount to those style of, of cylinder sensors, but they work the same way where the sensor detects the magnetic field of a magnet mounted on the piston. Uh, with the modern uh, installations with, with sensors like this, it's flush mounted so that you can have a lot of tight spaces and uh, automation all, all close together. And it's not gonna get knocked or bumped by, by somebody working in the area or working around it. Uh, this is non-contact sensing, sensing through the wall of the cylinder, so there's not any motion or anything like that. And then uh, this universal compatibility for the mounting. So mounts in most T-slots and C-slots of modern cylinders and uh, most cylinder brands. This is true for, the, the way these mount is true for most magnetic field sensor technologies like Reed, Hall, and magne magneto-resistive technologies like GMR and AMR. To learn more about pneumatic cylinder sensors and buy online, visit the Balof product selector and web shop.